is time once again for not UPRS, but we're doing a fish autopsy. Wow. I turned this on and I haven't been able to get it to turn off since. It doesn't work. So that's fun. Oh, stop, stop it. Stop. Right, so. Uh, it's, it's time once again for that thing that we call a subscriber special in which I have surpassed a certain uh, number of subscribers and therefore it is special and videos will be made and today we're doing a fish autopsy because I want to figure out what is wrong with this thing. First thing that we're probably going to do is take out the battery. I know you can't hear me over the incessant fishing. There we go. Batteries have been removed. All is good in the world once more. And fish. Alright, so let's take apart the fish. I'm going to do this off camera. Because it's really tedious and annoying to be in with, and I don't want to be more tedious and annoying. As my kids say. That old chestnut. Looks like there's styrofoam in the fish. So yeah, I said the I said the thing from the top comment on that video. Aren't I so funny referencing my existing presence around the interwebs? Ain't I just hilarious? I'm referencing two things at the same time. I'm actually referencing a third thing as well, that being how I can get this done screwed out. Oh, no, wait, I got it. Never mind, false alarm. False alarm, people. Screw that. Again, it, it looks like there's styrofoam in the fish. I don't know if that's just me going insane or if there actually is styrofoam in the fish, and I honestly don't know which. Because it is perfectly plausible that there would be styrofoam in something like this. One screw is not everything else is coming has come loose. Except it's one screw. Okay, there we go. That screw for some reason felt it must make my fish topsy as hard as possible. So there actually is styrofoam inside of the fish. I am assuming... They were meant to take this out. No, they weren't the fish.
I'm not entirely sure. I didn't. I don't think this is even as a chimney flake anymore. I think it's just like part of some weird. Oh, I apologize. You haven't seen anything. Uh, here's the styrofoam everywhere. Here are the here are the fish bits. Fish. sense to me. I do not know of the fish, and that scares me. My lack of fish knowledge is mortifying to a man like me, who hath no fishes. Ah. No. Cease. Cease this. Still makes you wonder why is there styrofoam all over this? What is this? It seems like it only does this when it's like upside down. That's clearly like a purposeful feature. Then there's a button in the mouth that makes it run when it's up, upwards. It's odd. It looks like the button's got a magnet in it. fish I've ever seen. And that's saying something, because I've never grabbed a fish before. Can you believe that this... I'm trying to do a joke. Can you believe that this is what we all look like on the inside? So we probably don't need any of this styrofoam, right? That's... that's all good styrofoam here just to weigh this down. And then I'm going to try and put it back, but like, at the same time, I'm not really going to try, and I'm just going to like, shove it wherever it looks like it fits. Because that's what the cool kids do. So yeah, I was right. There was styrofoam in the fish. For, for reasons we do not fully understand, there was styrofoam in the fish. Sorry you don't get to see more of this, but I don't actually have an adequate camera setup. I've never had an adequate camera setup, actually. It's, it's sort of just always been me filming with my iPad. One time I got a new iPad and that worked slightly better, but like that, that was... That's the only substantial setup upgrade you've has ever happened in, in the history of, of Ferblandia. I'm trying to figure out how to get this gash and arm fish back together. These gash and arm whales and their gash and arm robotic fish. I legitimately like, is this meant to go somewhere? It's probably fine. It's probably fine. Although 
fishing is a place we've never heard anywhere. It's a quote from John F. Fishing's place. He died from a fishing's place. This was also definitely a real thing that happened and not at all something that I am spontaneously making up to gain Reddit karma. Shocking stories from Reddit that will shock you shockingly. Number one, fish man. That's like that's a fish man. It sounds like the worst superhero ever. Ah. Fishman, Fishman. Yeah, you know. Good old Fishman. And you probably don't know because I just made him up. Who knows? Maybe he does exist. Maybe Fishman is real. Maybe Fishman is the hero we didn't know we needed in the world. Maybe Fishman is approaching your location rapidly. Maybe Furbland cannot figure out how to get this tail back in. All of these are very probable things, especially that last one, because it's currently happening. Shirk. Who is responsible for designing this fish purgatory? Because that's what it is. It's a fish-shaped form of purgatory. Why is there styrofoam in it? Why is there... There are so many things about this fish that I don't understand. I thought it was a... kind of fake, and it's not, and... It's just a confusing hunk of fish. the name of my new single. Confusing hunk of fish coming soon to a dumpster near you. I'm just gonna screw the fish bag together. That's not a phrase I ever thought I would say in my life. This video wasn't really about the fish. This video was more about thanking everyone here for 200 subscribers. I don't know if I mentioned this already, but I met someone at a park. They were my, like, what, 207th, 208th subscriber or something along those lines. I forgot. Um, but... I showed them my YouTube channel, and they really liked it, and they subscribed, and, you know, I'd like to thank them for that. So, uh, couldn't find it at first. Uh, if you're watching, you know who you are, and thank you so much for your support. Thank you so much for really everyone here's support along the way, all the way back from when I was just a pink F, or if you want to go super far back, a teal E. Um, it's just occurred to me that I have not actually put the tail back on and I do not have a proper way of putting the fish off. So, I'm going to try and wedge the tail back in by unscrewing one and screwing a tiny bit and then seeing if I can pry the fish open enough to get the thing in place. say, get the thing in the place, classic phrase, phrase term, who can't hear me, fangle phrase term, I'm not going to bother putting the battery compartment back on, we all know it works, the only thing that doesn't work is the on off switch, which I don't know why that is. That's also probably one of the reasons that I'm going to uh, leave the battery cover off so that I can turn it off like that. But yeah, thanks to, to everyone 
so much here for watching and for doing all these wonderful things to support my channel.